Olympic heptathlete Barbara Nawaba is trying something new to rehabilitate a damaged knee. With my events, with all the jumping and stuff I do, I need the best I can get. With a small pothole in her knee, along with a stress fracture, she turned to Dr. Steven Sampson. Sampson uses PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, along with stem cell therapy to regenerate diseased or injured areas. Cleaned out the damaged and diseased cartilage. We decided to inject inside her bone, delivering her own bone marrow-derived stem cells to regenerate bone and cartilage. Dr. Sampson, who's been doing PRP injections for 12 years finds that adding a patient's own stem cells can be very effective. The cells will travel through the bone directly to the cartilage surface to potentially regenerate the cartilage and treat the disease. I've had PRP in my knees. I actually had knee surgery on my left knee. Active baby boomer Eileen Feldman was in to have stem cells injected in both knees. She loves to hike, box, and cycle and is looking for a new way to reduce the pain. I've already had bone marrow in my hips. It was amazing. White spots on an MRI indicate areas where there are bone fractures and decay. Injecting bone cells beneath the cartilage. Within three to six months, we see the bone regrow and improve to its normal state. The price of these procedures vary anywhere from $500 up to about $11,000, and they're not covered by insurance. But when you consider a knee or hip replacement could cost upwards to $50,000, and the downtime, this is certainly something to take a look at. We do have clinical trials ongoing and we also created a non-for-profit in a registry to collect data across the country from different physicians, then show insurance companies safety and efficacy to compare that to a cost analysis of the cost of major surgery. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.